everybody, it's Miss Sana here. I hope you're doing really, really well. Today, I thought I could read you a story called Where the Wild Things Are. Written by Maura Sende. Where the Wild Things Are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. The ver that very night in Max's room, a, a forest grew. Trees. See the moon through the window and through. Oh, look over here on the floor. It's got grass now on the floor and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became a world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things and now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Looks like they're dancing and howling towards the moon, having lots of fun. There you go. Dancing a lot more, having lots of fun. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up thinking of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through the day. Here he is on his boat in the moonlight. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. And that's the end of the story. I'll see you next time guys, bye.